Hey everybody, welcome to Country Girl. Today I've got a Spring Fling Dollar Tree haul for you. I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday just to look around, um, take some pictures, see if there's anything new, and I found quite a lot of stuff. I picked up three signs today, and just to let you know, they um, had quite a lot of the Easter signs out, but I did not go crazy with that, mainly because I have so much Easter decor now. Um, that I really love and I just don't have room for everything so I only picked out one that um, was my favorite and I did pick up this little sign here and if you're interested in seeing what the other signs were at my store I did post a picture of those on Instagram so that you can see that the next sign that I picked up and this is not a holiday sign at all but I just saw this and could not resist this says mermaid's lair um, it was the only one I found and it was on a bottom shelf and I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous I like how it looks like it's distressed um, And you know the frame is gold and I'm, you know, even the frame is, looks a little bit distressed, but it matches So I'm not going to be switching this out But I thought this would be something really pretty that I could put we have a garden tub And so I thought this would be really pretty either hanging near that or over it or you know Even put it on a stand and maybe put it on the corner of the tub I just absolutely love this sign. The other sign that I picked up was, uh, I guess, part of the spring, spring fling collection. And this just says, keep life simple. And this little theme and pattern is on a lot of stuff. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you some more things with it. But I've seen it on pot holders and little tin cans, boxes, uh, you know, gift bags, things like that. So they really are pushing this theme. They also have uh, two other ones. One of them is purple and like a blue color. And that one, is, they have just as much stuff in it at my Dollar Tree as they had in this pink one. But then they also had another one that was a different type of flower and um, it didn't seem like they had as much stuff in that particular pattern. I needed to get some paper plates and um, I wasn't ready for the Easter Bunny plates even though um, one of the stores that I went into recently had those. So um, I thought, we ain't even out of February yet. I definitely don't want to be putting Happy Easter um, <laughs> plates out. But anyway, I did find these, and these are the pattern um, of the little sign that I had. And if y'all want to see a close-up of that, if I can get it to look. It's really cute. It's got the little bees on it and everything. And you do get 12 plates in a pack. I did open these up because we did use these last night. And... Um, so anyway, I just went ahead and pulled them out. The next plate under here is the blue and purple, and this is the other pattern that they have, and that is really pretty as well. And in addition to that, I did get matching napkins. Normally, I don't buy napkins at the Dollar Tree, um, just because we always use the uh, select a size paper towels, but I just thought these were so pretty, I had to get them. And they are these little scalloped um, napkins. You get 16 in a pack, and this is the blue one. And then, of course, this is the pattern that's got the, um, the little bee and everything on it. So, we did, I did pick up some of those. And the next um, thing that I purchased that I don't usually purchase is these cute little cups. And I did get one with each pattern on it. Um, you get eight in a pack. And I got these because I thought that sometimes, you know, Madeline and Caitlin likes to eat, you know, oodles and noodles or uh, macaroni and cheese or something like that. And they could put that in these little cups versus messing up a whole plate. So I did get those. I'm going to go ahead and show you the other Easter items that I bought. Like I said, I didn't buy much. I'm trying to stay away from the Easter decor, but I did want to pick up things that I thought that I might be able to use for DIYs um, and things like that. So I did pick up two of these little um, eggs here and they are just plastic eggs that are speckled and they come in I haven't seen them in any other colors but these but I went ahead and picked up two of these because I think these are really cute and you could definitely do a lot of things with these um, same thing with these little carrots I picked up two packs of these as well because um, you know DIY also even if you don't use these things for a DIY you could just scatter these around in various different places you know, prop them up against something that you're already setting up, um, you know, th three tier trays, things like that. So anyway, I did pick up those. And I did pick up some more floral um, this time because I am gonna make me another wreath. Um, I do have a really beautiful spring wreath that I put out every year and I did make it with one of the big vine wreaths from Walmart. 
and um, but I just it has got the pink flowers on it. But I wanted to do something with the lavender flowers this year, kind of make like a spray type wreath. And I'm going to use a smaller Dollar Tree vine wreath to do this with. But um, I had already hauled some of these. Uh, the ones that I hauled were the light lavender. And so this time I went back and I got the dark purple and then the white with the um, lavender on the tips. And so I am going to use, um, you know, all three of these colors in the wreath when I do those. So I hope that turns out. Of course, I will record that um, so that you can see me do that. And then I was able to pick up some more of the hydrangea for my second wall scots. But the only problem that I'm having now is um, I cannot find any of the box art that's shaped the same way. They had lots of it in the square, but as far as the rectangle, all the Dollar Trees that I have been to in, in the last week um, have not had them. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get those because if not, I'm going to only end up with one wall sconce. I did see some of them online, so I know that they do sell them online. I just, I think that's one of the items you have to buy in bulk and I don't need that many. Um, so I'm just going to hold out because I'm thinking that maybe they might put some new ones out in, in the stores. But I was able to pick up another one of these clear mason jars. So I have that. Now the only thing I need is just the box art and then I'll be ready to put my other stuff together. Some other items that I picked up for some uh, future DIYs, I picked up this little little one. It's like a, like a little nursery sign. I picked this up because um, I really like this little hook here and I'm gonna paint over this. This does feel like it might be like a paper or something on that, so I will probably try and see if I can pull that off first. But um, this is very simple DIY and I, again, I saw this in something from the Lakeside Collection. And so it's just interesting how when you're looking through, um, you know, things, how you can come across stuff that gives you ideas and you think, why should I buy that when I can make it? It's very simple. So anyway, that's going to be for a future upcoming DIY. Now this one's not going to be for a DIY. This is just something that I'm going to do for me. Um, and it's very simple. So um, you'll probably see it in a future video somewhere, but not as a DIY. But they have these signs out. Um, a while back, around, I guess before Valentine's Day, a lot of them came out. And the ones that I saw were memories. They had another one that had love, but the love, I think the L was stacked on top of the O and the uh, V was stacked on top of the E. I can't really remember. But when I went to the Dollar Tree last night, they actually had um, different, they had the live, then they had the laugh sign. And then they had this version of the love sign. And I thought these were really pretty and the only one had them in the black. But I think what I am going to do is I'm going to paint these um, using that China blue color that I used when I did the vases for my flower box. I really love that color and I am gonna incorporate that color um, some into my bedroom. I'm re trying to revamp my bedroom and make it look a little nicer. Um, so I just thought this would be really pretty. I was going to put one on each shelf and I was going to put a picture beside each one. I've got some really pretty pictures of my daughters. And so I just thought that would be really pretty to do that with. But anyway, I um, was really excited to find those. I don't think these were a new item at this particular Dollar Tree. I could be wrong, but I did find them on a lower shelf near the um, candles and stuff like that. And I don't know about your Dollar Tree, but my Dollar Tree, whenever they have a, they end a season or they start putting out new products and stuff like that, they take a lot of their leftover things and they kind of just throw them on these shelves right there near the candles and stuff. So if there's anything that you have been looking for um, and never found or wasn't lucky enough to find at your Dollar Tree when you go there, go into those sections because they do that in multiple Dollar Trees. It ain't just one. And I have been able to find several things that I've been looking for by looking on their shelves, especially on the bottom shelves pushed towards the back because a lot of people don't look in there and they tend to miss them, thing, them items. But that is where I've I picked up all of these signs. Okay, so I did pick up um, two of these napkins. And the reason I got these was because this one kind of looks the same on the back, but this one has a different flower, if you, if you can tell. But one of the DIYs that I've got in mind is to do some decoupage. And you can do those with napkins and things like that, and they turn out really pretty. And I wanted something vintage and something that I could uh, put different, you know, pieces of, you know, like different 
pieces of the picture so it looks like different pictures. Like I could use, you know, this butterfly or this butterfly or I could use one of these little flowers or something like that. And then the same thing with this, I can use the different flowers and things off the napkins. So I picked that up and I know you don't really know what I'm talking about because you don't know what the DIY is. But I do want to, um, I probably am going to test this one out a little bit before I try. I know most of the time when I do DIYs, my first run is when I'm recording it for y'all. But with something like this, I'm, it's probably going to take a lot more um, effort to put into this particular one. And I don't want to um, waste a lot of time with it if it's not going to work out. So anyway, that's why I got these. But you can, uh, if you do see this and decide that you want to do it, I don't think you're going to have any problem finding, um, you know, some really pretty napkins because they sell them everywhere, even if you don't get them at the Dollar Tree. So it's not going to be something that you're not going to be able to get if you don't go ahead and buy it. So I got those. Now, the last part of my video, I am going to show you some stickers that I picked up. I know a lot of people aren't big on stickers. That is why I held them to the end, so that way, um, you know, if you want to opt out and, and head on over to somebody else's channel and see what they got going on, you can. But for those that are interested and want to hang out with me, I am going to show you. I did quick get quite a lot. Um, the first one is, these are wall creations. These are the wall stickers. Um, I did not, of course, buy these to hang on the wall. I just loved this sticker. The color just grabbed my attention more than anything. I just think they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I do a lot of, when I do scrapbook pages, I do 12 by 12 pages, and um, the 12 by 12 pages are definitely big enough that I could use these flowers um, on. I mean, they are just really, really pretty. So, I'm probably going to use that on like a Mother's Day page or something like that. But I had to get that. So, anyway. All right. Now, I have been looking for these stickers for quite a while. Actually, for the last several weeks, every time I go in the Dollar Tree, I would go to the sticker section to see if I could find them, and I hadn't. Because I've been seeing everybody haul them, and I have not been able to find them. Well, I found them last night. So, I didn't get all of them. I think there was a couple more, um, but they were, like, sports-related. And, you know, I don't have boys, and I don't get into sports, so I didn't pick those up. But I'm going to show you my favorite ones first, and that is this... Um, little sticker set here you get three pages and I absolutely love these I love the colors on them uh, of course this is a summer one you get the first little page it's got these um, stickers on it then the second page has just got some uh, words dealing with summertime and then the last page you get the um, the little alphabets and in each one of these sticker sets the font on these alphabets are different they actually designed them, you know, to try and match whatever the theme was for the sticker set that you've got. So I got that one. The next favorite one of mine, this is um, trip, road trip, travel type stickers. And um, this is more rustic-like. Um, I love the little camera here, the little suitcase, the little camper. And then here is the other page. And then again, you could tell the font was a little bit different from the first set that I showed. The next one that I picked up was um, the USA, or I guess you could call it Fourth of July. I like that old car there. And then the last one that I got in this is the happy birthday. Um, I thought that was really cute. And then there, you could definitely see the difference in the font on these. These are, you know, a little bit fancier. So I got those. Then the next set that I got, these are like little baby animal stickers. And I have so many animal stickers. I really need to do some zoo pages. But um, I just could not resist. These are absolutely adorable. And I've got so many pictures of my girls when they were little. And those are the pages that I'm probably going to do more of. I mean, not that I'm not going to do any when they're getting older. But it's just so much fun because we just did more things, it seems like. Went more places. And, um, you know, when they were smaller versus now that they're teenagers, they hang out with their friends more. So um, these would be really cute, especially if you've got, like, little toddlers or something like that. And then this one is a little farm animals. 
I thought that was really cute. And these are 3D. So they got little foam things behind them to make them stand out. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to use these. I think, well, you know, it's really weird um, what I do when I scrapbook. Um, I will actually pick out a sticker set that I want to use, and then I find pictures to go with the sticker set, not the other way around. A lot of times people, you know, will, like, look at pictures and say, I need to find stickers to go with them. But, you know, I actually will go into a store and I'll see a sticker set, and it will make me think of the pictures that I've got that I can use with them. It might be helpful, you know, when it comes to designing the pages. I don't know. Now, the next set of stickers that I got are for planners. And I had mentioned before that I had tried to do um, some planner-type creativity um, stuff last year. And it just ended up being not my thing. I think they're absolutely gorgeous, but I just, I just couldn't get into it. So... Um, it's not that I don't use planners. I do use planners. I use them quite a lot. It's just that when it comes to decorating them up and stuff, I'm just, it's just not me. <laughs> but I do like to have the little tiny stickers that I can put on days and things like that to give me reminders or things that I want to do or things that I've got going on. And so that's kind of basically what these type of stickers are. They're not so much for you to decorate your your month and make it look like a certain theme or anything like that. They're more or less just to kind of, you know, help you put stuff on your list, your to-do list for that whatever day it is you've got stuff going on. And um, this one here, I'm still trying to find, they kind of have a theme to them. This one is probably more oriented to like um, teenagers, high schoolers, college students, things like that. Um, but of course anybody can use them and I probably won't use every single one of these. But the first page is just, like this the back page is always you know on these are the best or my favorites but I'm just gonna kind of slowly show you so you can read these for yourself to see what kind of, of stickers that they're offering for this and you can kind of see why this would be cute um, for college students and then the back here at the top you've got the little books um, that say study and you got the little ice cream and french fries um, you know, school starts, school's out, gives you all the different, you know, things that's going on with the school. It has a little laundry baskets here. I absolutely love those. And then the little cameras with the shades. And these are little coffee, like little Starbucks coffee mugs. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. This is kind of more neutral, but some of them have kind of the same type uh, sayings, but maybe just worded a little bit different. And then the back side of this, like on this one, the laundry is a little iron versus the basket. And then the coffee is a little mug, like a little coffee cup versus the, um, you know, little disposable carry-out mug. That one for that. And then this one here um, is kind of like, I guess, maybe a travel or more of like a, uh, to do like running errands things like that you know paying your bills carpooling um coffee breaks making phone calls you know reminders of birthday parties you see the little cupcakes here for the birthday you know sending out mail maybe you need to email or mail a bill return a phone call these are the little shopping carts here it's really cute so I think that's adorable, and I'm definitely gonna put these to use. And the last one is actually my favorite. This is kind of like a little summer theme, kind of like a little road trip type thing, and, or vacations, um, stuff like that. And I think I did get all four. I think there was only four of them. Um, if y'all know of any more, let me know. Oh, it's like the little Polaroid pictures there. It's hard to see, but that is so cute. And so, that's the sticker collection. I think that is everything I have showed you. So that is all for my Dollar Tree haul today. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.